Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I was waiting for someone to ask it in the comments. So literally last night, about 12.30 Arizona time, I got a comment that asked me about settings and Warzone and tips on aiming and all kinds of things here. So we're gonna go over in-game settings, mouse sensitivity, how to increase your aiming ability, and just about anything that's gonna help you setting wise to move forward in any FPS game. So we're gonna jump into that now, starting off with mouse settings. Hey, and if you guys are interested in these little tips and tricks that I've learned over the years of FPS gaming, I came over from console just like a lot of you guys did, so I was completely lost. And I'll explain that in this video, the stupid mistakes I've made, but if you do like this stuff, make sure you're subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and comment below if you had any of these stupid mistakes before as well, because I've heard some funny ones. So let's jump into it now, y'all. Alrighty, guys. So first and foremost, the number one thing with aiming on a computer with a mouse and keyboard is your sensitivity of your mouse. There is so many different places to change your sensitivity, but we're going to start at the most basic part, the actual mouse. Uh, the mouse itself has its own sensitivity. If you did not know about this, there's probably a software that you need to download online. Logitech products are my favorite, not sponsored by the way. If I could get a Logitech sponsorship, it'd probably be the number one sponsorship I could ever want someday. Just going to put that out there now. It's never going to happen probably, but I love Logitech products. If you're looking for a good mouse, keyboard, anything like that, Logitech is my go-to because I love their software and they do have good longevity to them. So we're gonna jump into the hardware now. And so almost every mouse has some kind of a software to it. This one is the Logitech G Hub. And I personally like the old one more, but this works basically the same. And it recognizes what mouse you have plugged in. You click on it and it's gonna tell you a bunch of different things, light settings and all this, but there's one main thing that we want and that's sensitivity slash a DPI. So a standard mouse that you use growing up has 800 DPI and that's a pretty normal aiming speed. So when I first got my mouse, I bet you a lot of people have made this same mistake because I've heard multiple and multiple people do it. So when they sell a mouse, they brag about having 16,000 DPI. You know what happens when you have 16,000 DPI? Look at this shit. I touch it one time and I'm touching it with one finger right now and I it's just flying. I used to do that for League of Legends back in the day and as I thought it made me better. Did I not know anything? 100%. So 800 DPI is what I run with. It's pretty standard for the most part. Most gamers sit between 400 DPI is like the OG OG because that's the original mouse. 800 DPI became like the standard going forward and some people will move it up a little bit higher but I would say that 800 DPI is probably the 800 or 400 is where 90% of mouse and keyboard game players are. So I would put it there roughly around 800 DPI. The number one thing I would say if you were a high DPI player to start, slowly move it down. Like if you're at 16,000, move it down to 10,000, move it down to 4,000, then move it down to 3,000. And it's going to be awful and play different games. Like go play multiplayer for Call of Duty, for God's sake. Don't just play Battle Royale because your aim is not going to get better in Battle Royale using a different sensitivity that you've never used before. But that was the biggest change for me because when I switched over from League of Legends, I could not aim for the life of me because my mouse was moving way too fast. It was not possible. So I would say that 800 DPI is a good place to start for your mouse settings. And then jumping into our actual settings here, we have mouse sensitivity of a 4.0, that just seems to be like the happy place for me. I kind of go, I so what I usually do is I find a streamer or a professional player that I like that runs 800 DPI or 400 DPI and I translate the setting to that of what mine is. So if it's 400, I just multiply it by two. If it's 800, I just do exactly what it is and it's usually pretty easy. I start there and then I kind of adjust it to myself and I found that four works the best for me. Um, a big thing that changed for me is I changed from rel from legacy to relative. That was a big one that I liked. That's a super simple one um, where you basically don't aim down sight as much when you zoom in and it doesn't really affect you. So I like it. Others to everything else, you can kind of just go down. It's nothing too important, but that is what my mouse sensitivity is for people that are like struggling with aiming. Lower sensitivity is a good thing. Um, you know, there's not a lot of times you're gonna be hitting those crazy flicks. If you do, good for you, but 90% of your shots are going to be right in front of your face, down sight. You got to hit those shots. It's going to be all about being consistent and how to get better at that. And I'm going to tell you how to get better at that right now. So guys, if you are new to PC gaming, 
I'm sure you've heard of Steam before. There's all kinds of games on Steam. You are going to go download Aim Lab, and you can directly correlate your settings from Call of Duty to Aim Labs and adjust it. It is amazing. You go in there and you shoot targets. It's the greatest thing for aim that you can ever do. I'll launch a game here and show you guys exactly how to improve your aim. Alrighty, guys. Now that we have Aim Labs open here, you can see it has an awesome thing here where you can kind of see like where your rankings are. I haven't played Aim Labs a lot, but I used to play Kovacs back in Fortnite. It's kind of the old version of this, but this is so much better. So I have just started getting back into doing my aim training and whatnot because it's always good to freshen up. If you watch any pro players that play on mouse and keyboard, they do aim training stuff a lot. They do it off stream usually, so you don't know much about it, but they do it a lot. So you come in here and you basically can just play. There's all kinds of training challenges and all this. And now what I was talking about earlier about adjusting your sensitivity in game, like I have my Valorant settings the exact same as my call of duty ones so i transferred it from valorant but you can go up here and go to call of duty series and you can just choose what you want for call of duty it's super great any game you could ever want there's even games on here that aren't shooting games like right here we got conan exiles like you can literally put your sensitivity to anything in this game it's pretty great honestly so lots and lots and lots of cool things going on here you can adjust your aim down sight stuff everything so very good you can even plug in a controller i believe so you can practice on a controller which is actually insane so definitely if you're a controller player it's worth trying out as well um but basically in here guys all you do is you go in here you start a challenge i'm just clicking on one very simple and basically you see these little things and you shoot them it's pretty straightforward there's nothing special to it but it is very good for training i'm not going to do the whole thing here for you i'll just do a couple but as you guys can kind of get the point you kind of want to just kind of and that's pretty much it guys you go back and forth over and over and it's great practice on anything and there's all kinds of modes on here you can try different things to practice on your aim highly recommend for anyone that wants to get better at aim it's something that i personally even need to do more of so aim labs is a must if you're trying to get better at mouse and keyboard. Alrighty guys, now that we are in game, I'm gonna literally blow your mind with a very simple tip that can help anyone in any FPS game ever. I mean, literally this is the number one tip that helped me when I first got going into FPSs and it makes so much sense because when you're on a controller, you just do it naturally. But when you're on a mouse and keyboard, it's so easy to get out of position. So say someone's coming ar like around this corner here, like expect them around this corner here. If you have your cursor down here, you have to flick up and shoot him in the head. A huge thing that people mistakenly do for no reason is that keep your crosshair placement right there. Keep a head level. You right here, head level? Bang. Super simple that a lot of people don't take advantage of. And I'm not even kidding. This is something that I personally did for a long time. Because when you're with their mouse, it's so easy just to like mess around, like start doing this stuff. And you're like, all of a sudden you're looking into the ground just running into walls and shit but when you can come around a wall and just beam i mean come on it's a huge advantage i know for a lot of people it's going to seem very simple but i'm telling you if you can hit that first headshot in a gunfight it changes the whole thing so i really do think that is a ginormous tip that can help anyone one other big tip i would give you guys is for your smgs Aiming down sight isn't always the greatest. I don't know what this glitch is happening on my screen right now, but aiming down sight is not always the greatest move. If someone's coming around this corner here, hip fire them. Just hip fire them. It's so simple. Like, there's too many people that get into this right here, and they go, rip, and this person moves over here. And you know how much harder it is to hit that shot than when you come around a corner here, and you just go like this. It's just so much easier to do hip firing. I'm, I promise you, hip firing with those close range fights is gonna work for you more often than not. Obviously, there is times where you are gonna wanna aim down sight, but it's gonna be more angles like going up, going up something like this. You're gonna wanna come around a corner and they might be here or they might be here. And you can kind of make that decision on a quick flick. Obviously, that is more high level stuff, but we're gonna keep it pretty basic here for most people. Obviously, we can get into more high level stuff in another video, but we're gonna keep it pretty basic. Another simple tip that I have for anyone out there is know your gun's recoil. So go, I right now personally, off the top of my head, I know what it is, but I'm gonna tell you guys what I 
like what I would do if I was you guys trying to get better at this game with better accuracy in your mouse. So we need to know what, what is the recoil going to be on this weapon? Because then you can adjust to player's movement better. So there is a common trend that that gun is just going up. I wasn't moving my mouse at all. It's just going to keep going up. So to me, what we're going to do is we're going to aim down. Keep it in the same place. So I know when I am fighting someone with the M4, with this build, exactly. But am I making that long range shot? I gotta be constantly aiming down a little bit. Just slight, slight, slight pull down and you can keep it right wherever you want it. But if you don't know the hit, the exact way that your gun's gonna react, you, it's hard to do it on spot. It's all about consistency. I talk about it all the time, guys. And the reason pro players are pro players is because they do all the right, the, all the right small things very consistent. But yeah, guys, seriously, consistency is literally everything in this game. Anything you're doing in any FPS, you want to do it the same every single time and go from there. But there's one other thing that I want to jump into, guys, and you can, I'm not going to really be able to show you too much of it, but there's two different ways of shooting a mouse. And holding a mouse, don't even, just hold out the mouse however it's comfortable for you. I've seen people that hold mouses like this, like Hiko. There's people that hold the mouse completely palm. There's people that hold it with their fingertips. I mean, there's so many different ways of holding a mouse. So do whatever's comfortable and natural to you. There's no right or wrong reason. But there's different ways to shoot a mouse and be accurate. So with 800 DPI, you got to use your arm a little bit. If you're flicking all the way over here, my arm, when it's moving, it's going about a foot to get to that far. So I have to use my arm. So there's two kinds of aiming. I'm gonna put it in a full screen here for you guys. So there's two different kinds of aiming, guys. There's arm aiming, where you move your arm around a bunch and basically throw your shoulder out while you're doing it. Nothing wrong with that. That's how I did it in Fortnite. But I forced myself to do it and it just was never my style. So I switched back to my style, which is I do both. I literally do both. So I'm more of a wrist guy. So I move my wrist around like this more often and then when I need a big shot, I use my arm. It's pretty straightforward. People that use only their arm, they're going around like this every single time for these little movements. But for me, I'm just going like this. We can use our wrist. I was a big wrist guy with baseball. When I played baseball, I used my wrist a lot for a lot of things like swinging. I use my wrist more than a lot of people. So to me, it was like, why am I getting rid of something I've used my whole life? There's no point. So you're either a wrist guy or you're an arm guy or someone that does both. Figure yourself out, test it out when you're playing aim labs, see what you're more consistent doing. It's really worth it and something that not enough people talk about. So seriously, jump into aim labs, jump into Call of Duty, notice what you do when you're hitting those really good shots, what are you doing with your mouse? It's always something you can learn every single time you jump into a game. But other than that guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. I've never made a setting slash tip video kind of like this, but I really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys did as well. If you guys have any questions, nothing, if anything didn't make sense, let me know in the comments because seriously guys, like I know this is something new to me and coaching people and trying to teach people certain things. I love doing it in sports and I love doing it here, but there's always places to improve and I want to improve in my gameplay and I want to improve in my videos. So there's no difference to me. Let me know what I could do to do better. If there's something I missed in this video, let me know. I'll do it in the next video when we do another one of these. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for supporting. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right. Appreciate y'all. Peace.